Greetings everyone, my name is Adderville, and welcome to my let's try of the demo of Blade Assault, a 2D roguelite action platformer in development by Team Sunit. I'll be spending at least half an hour on this title, giving my first impressions along the way. And as these are my first impressions, I apologize in advance for any silly mistakes or false assertions I'll make. Jeez, the default text speed is slow. I'll be advancing it manually. Hopefully in the final game, there's a way to increase the default. So he's out for revenge. Still under construction. The urinals are probably used as a shortcut. So we have three weapon passes available, Tenacious Strength Level 1, Critical Combo Level 1, and MP Supply Level 1. I want that. Alternatively, I can use an axe, but I already spent all my stuff for the chainsaw. So let's start out with this then. And by hitting things, I charge up my energy. Welcome to Undercity District 8. Our first enemies are these rat men and mutated frogs. On the top left part of the screen is the current risk level, to the right are the number of enemies left to defeat, on the bottom left are my health and energy meters, and immediately to the right of that are all the moves I have. So far, combat is meaty and responsive, both in terms of controls and impact. All the attacks feel like they have weight to them, and all the particle effects flying around add to that feeling. They're immune to getting stunned. The longer I stay down here, the greater the chances I'll encounter these elites.
Hi again, Hank. Sure, let's take a look. If I end up dying here, on my next run, I'll use the energy rifle. Enemies are getting slightly tougher now. Whoa. Barely dodged that one. So far it's not too hard, but I'm currently in the first area, sub-level 3, so of course it's going to be relatively easier. This demo only contains the first chapter of the game, so we'll likely not see the difficult part of this game, nor the roguelite aspects as much. After all, all the items and upgrades I'm collecting are randomly generated. Time for a boss. An even more mutated frog. Now I actually have to play a bit carefully.
And it has pretty good tells. Actually more tells than I expected. We can actually see its ammo indicator. Goodbye. I know, kind of boring upgrades, but they're the most consistent. Oh, that's bad. Don't get overwhelmed. And to correct my earlier statement, it's not all the enemies that are remaining in the stage. It's more specifically, how many enemies left I have to kill before I can activate the pod. This is where the rifle would be really handy. And the longer I stay here killing enemies, the greater the elite meter will rise. But that also means I'll get more rewards if I play my cards right. At first I didn't take enemies infinitely respond, but apparently they do. Oh no.
Down I go. I spent too long in Sector A. Every time I die, I respawn over here. So this time, let me use the energy rifle. I'll do one more run, then I'll end up this last try. And just like most roguelites, I'm sent all the way back to the beginning. I lose everything with the exception of those permanent upgrades at the start. Not as good DPS as before, but I can assault enemies more safely. That is, until I encounter more ranged enemies. Plus, I'll probably have an easier time against aerial foes. Well, that's cool. I'll have an easier time against multiple enemies then. Let's do it. Gun against gun. I decided to skip past the first few areas. We already saw them when I had the chainsaw. Cool, I have to stomp attack still. Ah, knock back. Uh, keep getting hit by that. That was bad. I have Rage activated. Not as good as my first encounter. I played too aggressively there and, and did a poor job dodging. On the other hand, I can now freeze enemies, and slowing them down is handy for any playstyle. Now these enemies are no problem whatsoever. I even shifted my grenades too.
for regular enemies, Frost makes a minced meat out of them. As I said before, before I perished, I can stay longer here if I want to grind up. Will it teleport to me? Come on, get up please. Thank you. That's the only annoying thing, the knockback. I can't really shoot down, which is the other problem. I need to take out the weaker ones. They do such a good job of chasing after me. That's two of them down, but I have to defeat 35 more enemies. Uh, that adds to my health, so that's fine. Well, that's good. It said I need to kill at least 20 more enemies, but those were the only ones remaining. Yikes, that was tough. Despite my incompetence during the second battle against Rock, I quite enjoyed it. I thought playing with the rifle would be very easy, but it isn't. Glad to see this game understands the rogue part of roguelite. Too many games fail to understand it, sadly. See, it said 32 enemies left, but those are the only ones remaining. Yes, please. Double the damage, double the awesome.
Anything you want to say? What could go wrong? So that's what these cards are for. Oof. This is a pure upgrade, but these... They have significant buffs with significant downsides. I'll get this. At least he didn't try to kill me. Oh, it's you two again. You're always the toughest ones to deal with. I'll go up to the next boss battle, then I'll close this off. And despite this game having controller vibrations, it's not too intense. It doesn't overdo it. The two mistakes I consistently do are accidentally walking off the platforms and underestimating the amount of knockback my own weapons do.
All right, we made it to the boss. Oh, that was risky. Good thing I have peers. Bad dodge. I pointed the wrong direction. Goodbye, Ramatan. This would be a lot scarier if I had a melee weapon. This was a solid battle. So that's the end of Blade Assault's demo. My overall thoughts are that it's awesome. The Pixar graphics and music were nice. The gameplay was always responsive and impactful. It was so satisfying to tear through those hordes of mutants. And all the damage I took was entirely avoidable. I simply needed to play better. None of the mistakes I made I felt were the game's fault. Add to that all the temporary and permanent upgrades you can acquire throughout the playthrough. You have a recipe for an awesome game in the making. I'll be keeping an eye on this title, and I wish the best of luck to the developers. Well then, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.